This is the organic stream. Welcome. If you look at the history of civilization, there is a direct relationship between the decline of soil quality and the decline of those civilizations. All these things came from the earth, they need to go back to the earth. We're not just keeping this stuff out of the landfill and making it a product. And that's the attitude you have to take. Every single day, somebody knocks on your door and says, Can I have your way to do Hi there, and welcome to another episode of the Organic Stream on CompoStory.org. I'm your host, Aline Murphy, and this is part one of our two part series on the use and benefit of sustainable agricultural practices in vineyards. Today's topic is cover cropping for vineyards, and with us to speak about this are two long time cover crop users and experienced viticulturalists. From Hawaii, once again, we have agronomist and soil culture expert Bob Schaefer, who has worked with vineyards globally. And from Petaluma in California, we have Bob Cannard of Green String Farm, who manages a thousand acres of vineyards for Klein Cellars. This episode is primarily an introduction to cover cropping, but we'll also be discussing the best techniques for using and managing cover crops in vineyards, the unique benefits they hold, and of course the challenges or pitfalls you need to be aware of along the way. Now, before we begin, we'd like to thank Recology for making this episode possible. Recology is an employee-owned company operating in California, Nevada, Oregon and Washington, coordinating dozens of recycling programs to recover a variety of materials. In San Francisco, they are part of the program Zero Waste by 2020 and are very involved with compost production and distribution. Visit www.recology.com for more. And now, let's start the interview. That was a sample of the Organic Stream episode by CompostStory.org. To listen to the full episode for free on our website, click on the link in the description below.